So now in this video, we're going to look at the NPN bipolar junction transistor wired as a not logic gate. So this is just a demonstration uh, video, more of a visual to give you an idea of what's going on. The uh, actual not gate, if you need one, there's integrated circuits with usually six of them within it. And you just power that integrated circuit, plug what you need to into the input and what you need to into the output. I've done earlier videos on that, and I'll do future videos on that. But in case, this is more of a demonstration a video to get us more familiar with the NPN bipolar junction transistor. So, it uh, does that pretty nicely. So, the uh, input and the output will be opposite. What that means is that when the transistor is turned off, the LED will be on. That's the natural state, in fact. So the transistor is off, it's not conducting. You can see current can flow through that resistor and light the LED. Now, if we turn the transistor on, that turns the LED, in this case, off. And uh, the reason why, you can see we got ground on that side of the LED. If the transistor is conducting uh, fully, then any current that gets to that resistor goes right to ground. The uh, LED stays off. So that's how we invert the uh, power in this case. So to turn the uh, transistor off, it's naturally off as long as the switch is open for this circuit. And you can see we got ground there to the base. That holds the base to zero volts, uh, zero on both sides. You don't absolutely need this resistor, but this pull down resistor helps hold at zero volts. If I uh, touch like that resistor or something without a pull down resistor, then the transistor will start conducting a little. So hopefully that's enough to prevent that. But in uh, any case, zero volts, transistor's off, and uh, that's a zero. We close the switch, we got five volts going there, and uh, that's a direct connection to five, so any current going down there, this resistor won't notice it. It has five volts across it, and uh, limits the current, we just need a small current, but that gets the transistor conducting fully. And uh, so then the transistor is on, the LED is off. That is the main uh, takeaway right there. So let's look at it on the breadboard. And here we go. We have the uh, switch up here. That's a 10 kilo ohm resistor going down there. That's the bottom of the switch. And a uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor going to the negative side of the power supply. And uh, for this particular circuit, it looks like we're actually okay with uh, without the pull down resistor, but still not a bad idea to uh, have that right there. So it's not stealing enough current away to turn the LED off. Now, the uh, other side of the switch to the positive supply there. So now it's holding that voltage down. We have to give it five volts, uh, basically, to the resistor there. Could be a lower voltage though, but in any case, that'll get current flowing and get the transistor conducting. So the flat sides to the right, we have the emitter down there, base in the middle, and the collector on top. It's going there. You can see the LED is just wired to light up naturally right there unless we steal the voltage from it so long lead the anode to the resistor short lead the cathode down to ground right there and so now we uh, zoom back we have the alligator clips that come from my pocket oscilloscope we want to take our measurements in relationship to ground so I'll move that jumper there and we have the uh, red one where we get the voltage in relationship to that one which is ground and uh, we can either go to uh, this part of the switch right there or down there doesn't matter and uh, we'll zoom back you can see we got zero volts right there now we go to where the LED is where our output is you can see we got about two volts but that's because we have the LED there we take the LED away it was pulling the voltage down we got five volts so we could use this as a digital signal and uh, very easily give five volts to something that doesn't really need any current just looks at the uh, voltage but in uh, any case, there you can see that uh, naturally the uh, voltage is high there until we press the button. Now it drops to zero right there. And again, that'll be without the LED. So if you just need a digital signal, you wouldn't use an LED. But there you go. You press the button, it goes down to zero. You release the uh, button, it goes back up to uh, five. So now what uh, we'll do, we'll look at the uh, same thing with the uh, signal right there so we got uh, zero volts actually this will be more accurate if we go up here we got zero volts press the button now we got five volts at that point up there again there's a diode drop from base to emitter and so 
just like with the LED, it's like a release valve, pulls the voltage down. But uh, we're still dealing with 5 and uh, 0 volts. It's a digital circuit. Now, we will also look, you can see the LED right now for the most part is passing somewhere around 6 milliamps of current. And we press the button. Now you see the current goes way up. Hopefully you can see that. And that is because the LED was dropping about uh, 3 volts. And so more current actually goes through the transistor than the LED when the LED is off, as you can see there. So that's one reason why I used a 510 ohm resistor in this case instead of a 220 ohm resistor. Cut that uh, current in half going through the transistor when it is uh, fully on. But then again, when the LED is on, it has half the current. But uh, good enough for purposes of this video. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I got links down in the description. That will help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.